My name is Robert Traver. I'm a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Villanova University and director of the Villanova Urban Stormwater Partnership and Center for Advancement of Sustainability in Engineering. I have been involved with the American Society of Civil Engineers for many years in many different committees, different groupings and reports, and so they asked me to be part of the urban drainage team for that review panel. That was pretty horrible, not what you expect in an American city. Um, I was in Desert Storm and I saw buildings blown up and this was much more horrific than that. When I arrived in the airport, the first thing you notice is signs telling the people what masks to wear to be careful of biological contamination and when they went back and visited their homes. Driving down through downtown New Orleans, half the roads were blocked by collapsed buildings, uh, the street lights were out. I spent a couple hours in a Black Hawk helicopter overviewing damage and on the ground and just it's just amazing the miles and miles of destroyed homes, buildings. One thing that really hit was that there were X's on the side of every building and the X's had the investigation team that went and visited the homes, whether there are any hazards there, whether there are any bodies there, whether, I mean, that seeing that on every home was horrible. And flying over, you would see some of the roofs had holes in them. And that was actually a good sign. That made somebody escape through the roof and was rescued, hopefully. Basically, our role was to look at the questions being asked and make sure they're answered. In fact, the very first thing is we took the Corps of Engineers questions and reframed them into, into the questions we thought would be needed to be answered. And to the Corps' credit, they changed their investigation based upon our questions. And the next part, we were in pretty constant communication about what was being done to answer those questions. So we were looking at it from the standpoint of what can we learn about what happened. And unfortunately, a lot of the lessons learned about what was wrong, you can just walk down and look. For one example, the levees were designed, they really did not look at overtopping of the levees or the next bigger storm. And the levees, when the water went over, would cut the dirt out from the other side of the soil, which would weaken it and it would fall over. And things like that were very, very obvious about some of the core issues about why the system failed so horribly. The Corps has gone through and rebuilt most, most of the protection system in New Orleans and finished it. They have basically raised the levees, they're much harder. There's now scour protection on the backside, like I mentioned. The pump stations are rebuilt with safe areas for the workers, uh, alternative fuse supplies. So the barrier system has greatly been enhanced and enlarged. New Orleans is pretty safe. You know, anywhere that's been hit by Sandy is probably pretty safe. I worry about all the places that have not been hit. And it's not just hurricanes, it's the riverine flooding, downtown Philadelphia. I mean, a lot of these places, we just don't know what the risk is. A couple of years ago, a bill was passed stating that we need to do studies and understand what our risk of flooding is. That has never been funded. If we build something, what is the consequence of that building and what risk? We need to understand the risk and communicate it. If we just build everywhere and we don't connect that to the risk of flooding or damage or damage to other people, you know, we're just kind of defeating our own purpose. Definitely, I think we need a national policy. We don't have one right now. Um, and what it would look like would probably be more of an overarching concept. So for an example, we want to protect people. We want to protect jobs and businesses and economics and our natural resources and social justice. But water is different everywhere you go. So it, basically we need a much more overarching national policy.